Lobster Pot. At Zanzibar Games, we have two game stalls. One is Lobster Pot, where the aim of the game is to throw two balls into the pot to win. This game allows a guest to win one large prize per player per day. The guest can choose to pay for either two balls or four balls. Choosing four balls will mean they have more chances of winning during their game. Make sure you have explained the rules clearly before the guest begins to play, or you may come across some awkward situations like the following. On this game, we do not allow crossfires. This means that we only allow the guest to throw into the pot that is in front of them. They cannot throw diagonally. We also don't allow guests who lean over the counter to throw the balls. They must stay behind the rope. The rules also allow only one ball to be thrown at a time. When the guest gets a ball into the pot, you must remove this ball before another is thrown. Make sure you tell the customer this before they start to throw again. Remember to congratulate any guest that wins and sound the winning tune to attract attention to your stall. Don't forget to always check the guest's chosen toy for any hooks to remove or holes before awarding them with it. Hook a bag. Always check your stall is full and there are enough bags on display. Bundles of 10 bags are kept on the stall for you to use to stock up the display. Once you have only six bundles left in storage, you need to let your supervisor know so that they can replenish your stock. As opposed to the usual rules of display, on hooker bag we make sure we don't have two designs of bag next to each other to keep the display looking interesting. The majority of the bags on the stall contain soft toys as prizes, but there are a select few which contain a winner's voucher. This voucher entitles the guest to choose any prize on the stall. When the guest has chosen their bag, make sure you remove the hook from the bag before you hand it to them. This needs to be kept so that it can be used again. Don't forget to click each time a bag is given out. Now the guest gets to see what they have won. Don't forget to tell them don't forget to check the bag for a winning voucher, as this allows you to pick any prize on the stall. If the guest has won the voucher, then take this from them and allow them to choose any prize on the stall. This will then need to be noted down on your stock sheet. As soon as a guest wins the winning voucher, make sure you inform your supervisor immediately. They will then attend the stall and introduce the voucher back into the game. Once you have congratulated the guest and said goodbye, you now may need to replenish your stall again. For roughly every 10 customers you serve, you will need to stock up. One of the main rules to remember in hook a bag is that the guest is only allowed to hook one bag per play. Superhero Challenge Opposite the Zanzibar game stall is the Superhero Challenge. This game is one large prize per player per day. All you have to do is hang on the bar with both hands for two minutes and you win an extra large prize. Sounds simple, doesn't it? This game is a physical activity and can be strenuous. There is a disclaimer sign on the front of the podium which explains this. A guest should only attempt to play if they feel they are fit enough to do so. If the guest has any current injuries or medical conditions that the game may aggravate, they shouldn't take part. To set up the timer before opening, you will need to follow a sequence which tells it to count down from two minutes every time you start. This sequence will be in your manual and shown to you by your supervisor. Make sure you explain all of the game's rules to the guest before they decide if they are up for the challenge. The guest can only hold on by their hands and must do so in only two ways, either both wrists facing forward or both facing backwards they cannot have them facing opposite directions. Always make sure that the safety mats are in the correct position before the guest can play. Once you are happy for the guest to play, ask them to step on the mat and raise their hands. This will give you a better idea of where the bar should be. For you to move the bar, you must use the step ladders. Check these are safe before using them. 
To remove the bar, you need to remove the two bolts either side, which prevent it from lifting up. When you have put it to your chosen height, make sure you place both bolts back into the holes. Check the bar is safe for use. This should be the correct height now for this guest to play, without their feet touching the mat. Now you are ready for the guests to play. Ask them to step on the mat and raise their hands. They should now not be able to reach the bar. Place your step ladders in front of the guest on the mat, holding onto the step ladders at all times. Check the guest is ready to play, and then start the timer with the remote. This is done by pressing OK whilst pointing it at the timer. Then, immediately after, slowly pull the step ladder away so the guest is able to freely hang. Now the guest has to try and hang on for two minutes, which is doable, but difficult. If the guest completes the challenge, they have the choice of any prize on the stall. These prizes are significantly larger than those on the other stalls. Make sure they are holding onto the bar correctly following the rules highlighted. The guest is not allowed to put their feet on the sides of the stall. When the play is over, reset the timer by pressing edit twice whilst pointing at the timer. Seaside Hooker Duck This game stall is called Hooker Duck and is in the seaside area of the park. This game is often played by small children. We need you to make it as exciting as possible. This game is a prize every time. All you have to do is hook a duck to win either a small, medium or large prize. Before you can open this stall, the pump which makes the water go round the pond needs switching off. You also need to check that the water level in the pond is high enough. It should be where the blue and yellow lines meet. This will be on your check sheet. Once a guest has paid, give them a pole so they can now hook a duck of their choice. Once they have hooked a duck, you will need to remove this from the pole and check what color prize they have won. Congratulate the guest on their win and say, wow, you've won a yellow prize. This means you can pick any of these prizes over here. Yellow is small prize. Red is medium prize. Black is large prize. Guests often love the choice they have on this stall and sometimes take time to decide on which to choose. You may want to help them by highlighting your favorite. Once the guest has decided on their prize, congratulate them on their win again and award them with their choice. Don't forget to note their chosen prize down on your stock sheet. Don't forget to add the play onto your clicker. On this game, guests can play as many times as they want. This means they may try to cheat and once they know which the higher prize ducks are, they could try to win these continually. You must make sure that you put the high prize ducks in at the back of the pond so they are unable to see where it is straight away. If you are suspicious of a guest choosing these ducks continuously, let your supervisor know immediately. If a guest accidentally knocks a duck over, then this will be their duck and the color revealed will be their prize. Treasure Hunt Derby This game is called Treasure Hunt Derby and is next to the Superhero Challenge. The aim of this game is to win the race against your opponents. There are many important health and safety rules that go with the running of this game, which you must abide. In the event of any smell of burning, turn the power off at the main switch and contact your supervisor or manager for assistance. Never touch the tracks that the ships run on, as the ships are electrically powered. Never lean on the track covers on lane one, as this will cause problems with the ship. The Treasure Hunt Derby is very much an entertainment game. It relies on you to use the microphone and create a bit of theater to our guests. Tell them about the game, how easy it is, and how there is a winner every time. Cheapest game on the park, this. You three guys coming for a race? If you've got the gift of the gab, this is the game store for you. As this game is a race, you must have a minimum of two players for the race to go ahead. The more players you have, the more doubloons you are able to award the winner with. Just as you are about to start the race, you should play the theme tune. This should run throughout the game until you have a winner. You may need to play the music again if the game has not finished before the tune ends.
Each player should have two balls. They move their ship by rolling the balls into the colour holes. Each colour is related to the number of moves the ship makes. It takes 16 moves to get from the start to the finish line. Like in any race, you need to give a running commentary over the microphone to highlight who is in the lead and who's not far behind. This attracts other guests to spectate and hopefully play the game themselves once the race is finished. Make sure that you stand clear of the track so the guests get a clear view of the race. When the race is finished, you will award the player the number of doubloons needed for that race. Now they have the decision to either redeem their doubloons there and then, or save them up and see if they can win more. You will have many guests who are on holiday who will choose to save up their doubloons until the end of the break. This way, they can try and win a larger prize. Each prize in the derby is worth a different number of doubloons. Your supervisor will make you aware of what these are. Each prize will be displayed with the number of doubloons it is worth for the guest to see. Catrack. This game is Catrack and is one large prize per player per day. The aim of the game is to throw balls to knock down a total of three cats. A line you can use on here is, all you need to do is knock down three characters. They don't have to be the same character or even on the same shelf. It can be any three characters. Don't forget to stay clear of any guests throwing balls. If the guest hits two cats and runs out of balls, they are unable to pay for more balls to continue the same game. You must reset the cats to the beginning at the end of each game by pulling the lever at the side. As the cats are all part of the same rack, you can have multiple guests throwing balls at the same time. Be careful to watch the play closely so you know who has hit down which cat. Don't let yourself get caught out by two players hitting down three cats between them and claiming they've won because you haven't been watching. Wherever possible, try to guide guests to play at different ends or slightly away from each other to help yourself see who knocked down what. Kamali Kankan -Kan. This game is called Kamali Kankan. -Kan. This game is one large prize per player per game. The aim of the game is to knock off all cans entirely from the table to win. Each set of cans should be stacked up on the table like this. It is important to keep as much of a gap between the cans as possible. Every guest has the choice to play for two or four balls to be used in the same game. The guest must knock these last cans completely off the table for this to class as a win. Now they get to choose their prize. Don't forget to remove the hook if the toy has one and check the seams for damage. Milk Chance. This game is Milk Chance and is at the Peter Rabbit Adventure Playground area. The aim of the game is to get just one ball in the milk churn to win. The guest has the option to play with either two or four balls. With this game being close to the playground, many of your players will be young children. This game stall has a small service area, so you won't be able to have more than two guests playing at a time. On this stall, we only have Peter Rabbit themed prizes, so it fits with the area. This makes it very easy for you to keep your stock sheet accurate. Don't forget to stay stood at the side of guests throwing balls. Many of the prizes on here are hung as part of the display, so you must make sure to check for hooks and the seam before awarding the guest with their prize. 